Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Transport Fever 2 Strategy and Tactics Episode 21. So, in our last episode, we began construction on our, uh, our next foray into our next industrial goal here. Uh, and that has um, uh, come a, come to a head here. So I uh, let just a little bit of time pass before, and I realized that this thing is going to be freaking massive. Like, I don't think... I think this train's a little bit too big for its britches. Look how slowly... It, it's already done one loop around here. This thing is still digesting its last load here. Like, this is absolutely nuts. Um... And I think what we need to do here to get the goods flowing is to um, uh, let's 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 not fill to full here. We just want you to drop off what you can. Um, it's going to be a little wasteful at first, but what we need to do is we got to level these two up. We got to level up the oil refinery, and we got to uh, level up the uh, chemical plant, and ultimately need to level up the goods factory, uh, because their demands for their for the intermediate goods is going to be capped until we do something about that. Um, so we got to get everything flowing nicely. Also, to avoid black holing, we also need to start up and, and be considerate of our steel production up here. Uh, so yeah, we, we got that to worry about as well. Uh, let's see here. Um, so as far as the steel, so we got ourselves a steel mill here. I always like to work backwards. If you've ever seen me play a Thomas Chef, you know I always like to work backwards uh, from, from problems to sort of get chains of things working properly. Yeah, there's 90 on here. And see, that's the thing. I think after it hits 100, it's going to cap off how much, they, how much they're willing to give us. So we're, we're, you know, shipping more crude isn't going to really help us out. We need to actually move the stuff that they are giving us. Uh, and that's going to be the main thing here. Because otherwise, more raw stuff isn't going to really help. Um... Is watch. It's probably gonna stop. Yeah, look at that. See, it stopped. It stopped squarely at a hundred. The production is still going. So essentially, it's churning through the raw materials, but they ain't giving it to us. Why? Because this place only demands a hundred. So it's they're they're they are withholding the goods from us. We 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 delivered one refined oil before, so. Yeah, that's 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 the reason why. So this needs to work further here, and this needs to. We're we're gonna need to increase our um, our truck capacity here pretty soon once this thing starts churning through. Um, like we've had one and one to here. Yeah, this was just the one off one here. So yeah, we gotta start. We gotta start our uh, our. our uh, steel production. Now, luckily, we are no stranger to steel production. Um, now, a couple of ways we could do this. Uh, I'm looking at a loop here between our two coal mines and the steel mill. Um, and um, here we've got two iron mines. Now, this isn't really a good loop setup here, but it still works. Now the real question is going to be, what are we going to do with these intersecting things? Because these, I mean, we got to do something about them. We can't not, um, I mean, we could just cross past them, but these are eventually going to become a little bit too dicey for that. Um, so we need to make a we need to make an executive decision here as to how how we want to handle this. And I mean, we don't want to run the goods down this way and then back. I mean, we could. That's that's one way to like one really really janky way to avoid a bridge. But I'm not sure I'm quite willing to go quite that far for to to avoid that kind of jank. But let's let's get the simpler of the two set up the uh, the coal loop here. I think that's going to be our, uh, our better thing here. Uh, so let's get a cargo station. Now the other thing that we can do here, that we can sort of um, utilize a little bit of an exploit, 
It's not really an exploit, but yeah, it kind of is. Um, and do I want to... No, I don't want to... I don't... I, I like the 240 a little bit better because that that going straight for the jugular on that's a little iffy. Uh, but anyway, the the little um, the little tip here here is um, have have a little teleportation action. What I mean by that is if we take you over to say yeah, medium country road, we have this medium country road cross the uh, the train line here. What we can do is we can have a train station that cooks up officially to the uh, the steel mill here. Do something like this. And it, it crosses that without any actual things crossing that lane. Now the question, no, we can. The question becomes, should we? Like, should we actually do that? You know, actually, what might be a smarter little bit of jank here? Because this could, this could actually work out in our favor a little bit more aggressively here, is if we take you and say do something like up here. Now we just need to see how far we can get away with here with the whole teleportation tech. Yeah, see up there that ain't gonna teleport. That's not quite enough. Or rather, that's a little bit too far. But if we make you a little bit... Or we we go on the other side and do the teleportation tech up here. Like, what happens if we get you... Say, like, straight up here. That might be a little bit too far, but it might... Yeah, no, it's a little bit too far. How far down do we need to go? Alright, so we pretty much need to kiss the road. Which will not involve any kind of teleportation tech, although it will involve some uh, road removal tech here. So if we do you like... oh come on, game. A little further please? That's better. That's better. Yeah. That is better. Um, because it also allows us to sort of dodge this big hill here while we're going to do what we need to do. Like so. Now this is going to start simply, but I ain't going to finish simply. This is, this is going to be a well-built-up station. In fact, I might do... I might give it a second track just to start off with because I know we're gonna need it. Um, so we're gonna get standard tracks because we're not going high speed with this thing. And another cargo platform on the other side. Alright, over here, um, is there any kind of... yeah, this one could be a terminus. Or it could be a pass-through and we use this to seed our uh, locomotives. That might be a thing. That might be a thing. Game. Can I hook up here? Are you gonna, are you gonna, like, are you gonna, are you gonna do your thing? Because I know you like to, to hook up with the, unless I have to do it on the other side. In which case we're gonna need a terminus. All right, terminus it is, just because you want to be that way. All right, let's get our tracks going. Catanery, yes, because, um, yeah, we might be using the gator for this. And I think we're going to take the high road here, um, because the other line is going to be for our, um, our coal importation. And actually, yeah, I might not turn this into a full loop. I might go bouncy, bouncy, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Rather than do, rather than forcing the loop, just draw from either side and pull it in. So that way, it's essentially a full load each time, and eventually we'll we'll hit some sort of equilibrium. Now the question's going to become who who gets forced into being a bridge. 
do do we keep the, the these tracks on the ground, or can we uh, can we get um, our our friend here to be the bridge? Do we need the bridge? Um, that'll be the real question. Um, because we don't need to force a bridge here. I think we might force this to be the bridge, the the passenger line to be the bridge, because we're eventually going to have two lines plugging in here, and I don't want to have to make two lines to, into bridges. But when we, uh, the, for the coal line, we don't have to cross this line at all, so the bridge is moot. But when we uh, when we go do our our iron thing, I think we'll make the iron uh, train be the bridging agent uh, rather than force the uh, the um, JC City line to go into a bridge. It seems the most sensible to me. So, you know, since we're going to be doing that way, uh, I've made the executive decision. Let us draw our line here. We will we will repair our, our passenger line before we unpause. Um, and yeah, I think maybe we'll make you the cargo station um, pass through. So that I can just put the... Uh, thing on the other side. It just, it's just really easy that way. Boom. And then we can stick you over here. <laughs> or not. Come on, game. Really? Oh, come on. Ah, uh, you try to save a little bit of money. And, and not that I need to be fussing over money too aggressively here at this stage of the game. That should be far enough back for you. Please. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, top line here. That is the top track. That is the top track. Excellent. Yeah, up like that. And nice and smooth. Um, I am going to go with the gator for this because this is a lot of stopping and starting here. So we need that acceleration uh, if we're going to get good speeds on this. Um, now then, for our bridge, our, uh, our little bridge here, uh, let's do our little trick where we go one, two, three, four. Looks like we're going to need five here then. And I want you to be the higher one, because you're eventually going to be passenger, so I want you to be as fast as you can be. Alright, that's the little bridge nub right there. And that should be enough to let you go down. I'm just going to make a, a little downward, a downward thingy bridge nub here. Uh, that way they're 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 descending. We're gonna have to probably pull these back a little bit. Oh yeah, these don't need to be catenary. I mean, the bridge. I'm not gonna undo those, but for the moment. There, that's a nice that's a nice descent, without uh, without sacrificing too much speed. And then for you. Plug you in. That's actually not too bad. This little this little jank right here is worrisome. That little 52. Why why are you slowing yourself down to 52? Is what I need to I need to know. Yeah, you're still 52 here. Yeah, all right, we got rid of the 52. Because I don't want the train to suddenly come down to 52 that, you know, in the middle of that bridge. And that bridge should be long enough to accommodate a second track under it. In fact, let's ensure that. Yes, it does. So that this little nub right here is just going to be a placeholder for our uh, iron line here. So yeah, now that has, we have, we have uh, uh, unbroken that. 
All right, now then, um, coal, 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 coal. Uh, let's get ourselves a route set up. So that is going to go like here. Did I get myself, yeah, I got myself turned around. So we're going to start here, drop you off at Melanopolis West. Um, and just because I've seen some oddities here, we're going to make sure that you um, don't load any coal. Um, just so you know, yeah, drop everything off there. Then we're going to pick up Melanopolis Sightings, hit Melanopolis West again, and make sure you know to offload the coal so we're not uh, carrying any. And then repeat. Wonderful. Um, all right, now we're going to go for some gators. We're going to go for some more loans. I didn't pay back all the loans last time, but enough to make do with what we needed to do. Um, yeah, yeah, the crocodile. I keep calling it the gator. It's the crocodile, but I'm going to keep calling it the gator. I know they are not the same thing. All right, uh, this is going to be Gondola, high-tech Gondola. And we're, we're uh, base 240 here as far as the length goes. Oh, is this going to work out like absolutely perfectly? It is. It absolutely is. Excellent. We also need 14 for this beast. We can handle something in the 14s. Bam. And off you go. So that's got that sorted. Uh, so let's get our iron sorted. Um, that also shouldn't impact the speed here too badly of... Oh wait, that's the, the bow three-wheeler. Yeah, this is the one, the Espen Express. But you're a biad, so you've got the extra pulling power. You still might need some extra cars, though. How many uh, How many people we got waiting for you here in your jet street? Oof. Yeah, you're going to need an upgrade. You might need to be upgraded to one of the faster ones, like the uh, A34 and, uh, and what have you. That's, uh, that's a thing. That is absolutely a thing. All right, so our 99 refined uh, oil is making its way there, so we're about to get a butt ton of plastic. In fact, um, did we catch you in time? Aspen Express, no, it looks like you're just about to leave. Because you, I've, I've got you about as long as you can get. But you need to get longer, my friend. Or rather, you need to get faster. I just want to make sure that you don't slow down too badly here. There may be a case for using that new A, uh, A34 with, a, with its massively improved power, because it can just go flying across this bridge without slowing down too badly. This one's, you know, this one's starting to, this one's struggling to pick up a little speed here with the passenger cars that we got. Um, so there, there, there is a case to be made for that. There's also a case for to be made for. Um, how are we doing here? You giving us plastic? You're giving us plastic. Good. We're gonna need more. We're we're gonna need an, uh, uh, more trucks here. Uh, that was just a placeholder one. We're gonna need more trucks. Um, and yeah, you don't hold plastic, so let's go for like a bunch. And this is going to be, what is it, um, Melanopolis Plastic Delivery. Off you go. It's gonna, the town's gonna complain a bit about the noise for a moment, but I think we'll be okay in the long run. Uh, now, uh, all that coal delivery isn't gonna be doing us any good without the iron along with it. So, let's get that sorted before we end the episode here. Um, so, here is our friend... 
Yeah, and this is why I did this one on the lower side, because this needs to steer down. That way we don't have to cross up the, uh, the coal line. We just have to cross up this. Um, now here, we've got this big mountain in the way, and it'd be really inefficient to have to go around it. So we're just going to go through it. We've got money. We're just going to go right through it. In fact, I might even... So yeah, let's not delete the bridge by mistake, but we can diverge even before going under the bridge. So, because this bridge kind of covers the area we need it to cover. So it doesn't have to be a perfect one-to-one -one here, because the bridge has still got us covered. And yeah, we're just gonna... I mean, we might do a tunnel here? Yeah. That might be the more sensible, uh, more sensible thing to do. Now I mentioned before that we are going to be doing the the bridging here. So maybe, maybe before we draw this line, we draw our bridge first, um, and then go from there. I mean, maybe, maybe we want them to bridge it, but no. Since we're going to be using the higher power thing, it makes more sense for us to bridge in this case. Let's get you back down. Just reorienting my dot here. One, two, three, four. There's our bridge. We make it a fancy bridge because I want to make sure that that is, that is correct. Build it. And now we go plunging down. Actually, it might make more sense to go over or we're going to do a bridge and then a tunnel. Well, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. So what happens if we just do a straight draw? What's, what's, our, what's our move here? Yeah, it actually starts us off a little bit. It, it, the tunnel, it, it's a tunnel, but it goes up a little bit. This makes actually a lot more and actually costs us a bit less than it was quoting us before because we're kind of segueing right into a bridge, uh, which makes sense. So yeah, the little, uh, little bridge tunnel works for me. All right, uh, for you, we're going to do a pass through cargo station. Um, yeah, this is a good orientation because we still get we still get to activate the factory here or the, the mine here, um, but we don't have to align directly with the mine. And we can clip this road if it becomes a nuisance. Um, and then with this thing, I don't see this going, plugging into anything else, so we might as well do a terminus. It'll play nice. Come on, game. All right, we'll plug right into it. Screw the road. We don't need no stinking road. All right, yeah, we're not going to stay high in the air longer than we have to for the sake of this dang road. Yeah, bit more expensive. This is one heck of a longer bridge than we probably need, but eh, whatever. At this stage of the game, penny pinching becomes less of a requirement. Bada boom, bada bang. Beautiful. Um, now, I think I am going to do what I did before, where I, um, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, if we're going to do the double up thing, this whole bridge doesn't make any sense, because now we have to double up the bridge. <laughs> Oh, I should have just had, I just should have had this one be the one going through. Ay, 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 ay. That's all right. We'll, we'll survive financially. We, we, we're, we're, we're going, we're, we're doing this a little extra here. In fact, I probably don't even need to build a second line just yet. I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it as a onesie for now. A singleton, if you will. And actually, I'm not even going to go back to this one. This one's going to get neglected. We're just going to go to the uh, 
Or actually, maybe I'll go to the back one uh, just to start the profits up a little bit. Because we do need to recoup our, uh, our, our expenses here. So, Molainopolis Halt to Molainopolis West. That's all. We're just going to skip this station for the moment. And then since this is our, uh, our thing here, we will have you just plug into here-ish, maybe? There. You're just leaving the station, so you you have time to sneak onto the track there. Um, do I? I do have I do have enough loan bandwidth for another one of these trains proper. What was it? 14 or so? We have just enough for another one of these trains, but uh, iron flavored this time. Uh, do I want the crocodile though? That's that's the other question here, because um, this is a bit longer of a route. This has a little bit more time to get up to speed. This might call for something other than the crocodile, but hey, you know what? Crocodiles, I'm, I'm, I'm liking them so far. So let's stick with the crocodiles for now. We can always upgrade out of it if we find it not to our liking. So crocodile, and then God bless. The, uh, the measurements work out quite nicely anyway, because we get exactly 240 right there. And that's going to be a line two, please. Could not connect all stations. Oh, just go, just go to the first one and you'll be fine. Or you're not gonna just you're just not gonna budge at all, are you? All right. Well then, here's what you, here's what we do to trick you. So you're purple, aren't you? Yeah, you're supposed to be a one. Why don't you just go to Millionopolis West first, and then you can go. Does this not properly hook up? Yeah, it does. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Line two, Lanopolis West. So that's one. Yeah, we want you on one. Alright, so here's what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to trick you into... Actually, here's what we need you to do. We're going to turn... Here's what we're going to do. This is sad as it, as it is. You're, you're headed up this way. You need to approach this line from here. I don't know. I don't get what it's not doing. All right, get, let me put a pause in here so I'm, I'm not faffing about here while I figure out what the sand heck this thing wants. Okay, we're good. Um, I just switched this thing to become our new iron train, so it's going to drop off its coal and then start doing iron, whereas this brand new one is now the new coal train. All right, one more thing before we end our episode here. Let's fix this bridge. Because this is this is sad. Well, actually, we might need to we might need to wait for our financial situation to improve before we fix this bridge. Like that. Thank you, thank you, uh, trains from across our network.
All right, let's leave these elevated uh, nubs up here. Catenary, no. You're up like that. It's kind of hard to select this uh, this bit right here. We go. Construction not possible, eh? All right. I think we clipped ourselves at a at a bad spot here. Let's try it again with the with the bridge first technique here. And then we'll just back you off a little bit here. And just yeah, send you send you downwards. Is that too yeah, that's too much. But I think we learned that we if we cut corners that badly, um we're um we're we're gonna be in for a bad slowdown time. And I'd rather this be um fast than cheap. So I think we've avoided any kinks on this side. See there's there's some kink right kinkage right there. We want it, we actually in contrast to most of my thing here we do actually want to paint in broad strokes uh, with this. That's better. Okay. All right, folks. So I think we have the basis for our raw materials going up and running here. Uh, we got our plastics going, but we also have our fleet of trucks going here. Um, there's going to be plenty of refinements that are going to be needed and done to this whole setup because there's more moving parts with this uh, set up here and there's going to be a lot more to be done before we can call this quite as efficient as our machine setup over here and even our machine setup could stand with more refinement not to mention i think we uh, i think we're overdue for a little uh, passenger refinement here so uh, until next time this has been pinstar signing out see ya yeah there we go we're we're hitting the 70s I don't think the bridge is slowing us down, other than the slope to get up and down it, which means we need a more powerful engine. I see boxes of iron ready to be picked up. Might not be a full load, but well, I'll take what I can get. Not too bad. All right, folks. See you next time.